Hi, I'm Michael Albor, and I'm so excited to be here with my friends from Hair Club. And today, I get the pleasure of doing four models hair, two men, two females. We're gonna be working on curling hair, styling hair, finishing hair, and doing some haircuts. Okay, Sarah, so next let's do a perfect ponytail, right? You and I were talking about what is the most perfect way to do a ponytail, so let me show you my perfect way and how I like to do it. You know, on today's ponytails, it's nice to kind of have a little bit of hair out. So right around your hairline, right from the top, let's leave just a little bit of hair out. The next thing that I'm doing as I'm actually brushing the hair back is I'm using something called a smoothing brush. What I love about a smoothing brush is it has nylon bristles and it also has boar bristles. So the nylon bristles are gonna tug the hair while the boar polishes the hair as we brush the hair back. So as I start brushing back the hair, I'm gonna use something first called Complete Control Hairspray. And this is a brushable hairspray. And what's great about a brushable hairspray is I can keep brushing and brushing and brushing the spray on the hair, and the more I brush it, it's not gonna get stiff at all. What it's gonna do is get more texture, right? So it's gonna give me a little bit more grip, a little bit more texture, and if I think about making hair from silk to cotton, this is gonna help me do that. The more I layer the spray on, the more it's gonna give me more of a cottony feel, okay? Now the key thing about using an aerosol hairspray is that I wanna make sure, again, like we said before when we were ironing hair, so that it is as far away as the can is in length. Okay? Mm -hmm. So I say 12 to 14 inches. This can is 12 inches long. So I want to make sure that it's at least 12 to 14 inches away from the hair. And the reason that I'm doing that is aerosols are meant to go on the hair dry. Most people don't know that. They think that it should go on more wet onto the hair, right? Because it is a moist um, substance. But it's actually supposed to go on the hair dry. So as I brush and brush the hair, and I keep using my Complete Control hairspray, I'm gonna feel the hair get more and more texture as I brush the spray through your hair. So I'm brushing and brushing. And as you see, or as they see on camera, what's gonna happen is, as I spray enough, especially on the underneath, they're gonna see it kind of collapse around the roundness of your head. So we're gonna keep brushing and brushing. Okay, so the next part is really important for me. What I'm going to use in my next part is actually two bobby pins on a rubber band, okay? So Sarah, rubber bands come in numbers, just like pencils, so you have like a number two, four, six. For me, the perfect rubber band is a number two. It's pretty stretchy and I'm gonna easily be able to get it around your hair. So the reason that I use a rubber band is because as I use a rubber band and bobby pins, I'm going around the surface of the hair. So I'm not pushing the rubber band or elastic anything accessory in and out of the hair. So I'm not gonna break any hair and I'm actually gonna be able to perfectly place that rubber band exactly in that ponytail exactly where I want. Okay, so what happens is, as I run out of slack, I'm gonna stick that bobby pin exactly where I run out of slack. Not necessarily on the opposite side, but wherever I run out of slack. What it's gonna help me do is keep that ponytail really, really tight, but also perfectly place it. So if I wanted to place it at the top of your head or the front, it doesn't matter. I can perfectly, perfectly place that. Feels so secure. Does it? Really tight. Now when we take this out, now all we have to do is pull a bobby pin and then it will unravel around the hair. It won't break the hair at all and it will keep it perfect all day long. Okay, so the next thing that I wanna show you is I'm gonna take a little, little piece of hair from underneath and now I'm gonna break a rule. Remember when I told you that we used aerosols 12 to 14 inches away from the hair, right? Mm -hmm. And that they should go dry on the hair. This time I'm gonna break the rule and I actually want to wet the hair. So I took that little piece of hair from the underneath and now I'm wrapping it around your ponytail and it's gonna hide my rubber band. 
this is gonna really, really mold it. So as the hair is wet, it's gonna let me mold that hair and it's already staying in place. The next trick that we need to know is how to keep that tight and perfect, that little end of the hair, right? So a lot of times what we do is we think that if we open a bobby pin, it's going to make it more secure. It's gonna take in more hair, okay? We don't wanna open a bobby pin because a bobby pin is only meant to take as much hair as in that little, little loop that's at the very, very end. So what we wanna do is where I ended, and I'm gonna do this on top so you can see. Normally I would do it on the side or the underneath, but this is where we ended in placing that last piece of hair. So what we're gonna do is go right below it, take a little, little tiny piece of hair, and then we're gonna actually stitch it and wiggle it right into the hair, and that's gonna keep that as tight, as tight as possible. And now, that's our first step. We have this beautiful, beautiful, great ponytail.